Hello everyone, uh, good morning, Jill at Quarter Life Wellness here. As you can tell, my best friend and me have been reunited. She just got home uh, a little less than an hour ago. She's extremely exhausted. She's been playing with my parents' dogs. They have three dogs for the past week and a half. Look, she can't even look up and she's pretty tired. But she's freshly bathed and she wanted to say hi. Hi. Okay, well I'll let her get to sleep. But anyways, I wanted to do a vlog this morning uh, reviewing some products that I've had recently uh, that I would like to go more in depth into than I can get on the blog because on the blog, which is linked down below, uh, it does take a long time to write in depth products so this way I can get a little more information out there to you guys quickly. Alright, so first I got a couple kinds of new nut butters. Uh, the first is Trader Joe's. I realize these are backwards, but bear with me. <laughs> Valencia peanut butter with flax seeds, so this is crunchy and salted. Um, the ingredient list is really low, four ingredients, no three. Dry roasted Valencia peanuts, roasted golden flax seeds, and sea salt, pretty good. Um, and it is 200 calories for two tablespoons. I don't count calories at all, actually. But I like to just check on them um, when I'm buying products to make sure that nothing seems too out of whack. Same with, you know, sodium levels and that other kind of stuff, fat, uh, saturated fat, those kind of things. I just try to keep them at decent levels. Um, so try this. Uh, it's really good. I love crunchy peanut butter uh, personally. And so I tend to mix flax seeds. Um, that I've had like Bob's Red Mill flax seeds into my peanut butter and spread it um, because I like the crunchy texture. So this is crunchy peanut butter with flax seeds. So it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of crunch in it. It's really delicious. I had it in my oats this morning. There you go. There's a quick view. Um, had it in the steel cuts this morning, and it was really good. It added a cool texture. Uh, I don't think it was Joey's favorite, but nonetheless, I think it's very good. And it was. Two or three dollars. Uh, the next is Trader Joe's sunflower seed butter. This also just a few ingredients sunflower seeds, evaporated cane juice, and salt. Uh, also just 200 calories for two tablespoons and this is really good. I love it. I've seen it on a couple blogs lately. Uh, Second City Randomness and Live, Laugh, and Eat. And they both, both those girls really like it and I'm also a fan now. Now, Joe doesn't like it, um, and he'll say, no, I kind of like it, but I know what that means. <laughs> but uh, it is kind of sweet. It kind of has a peanutty taste, I believe, at the beginning, and then the sunflower seed taste kind of kicks in at the end. I think it's really good, though. I like it on bananas and on spread on tortillas. I don't think I'd put it in oats just because it's a little sweet for me for that. The next is... These black bean refried beans I used last night, they're field day organic and, uh, oh, vegetarian black bean refried beans. I've never seen these before. I got them at a co-op in Atlanta and they're absolutely delicious. I um, put them on my sweet potato and black bean tortilla taco things last night and they're so good. Um, low in sodium for refried beans, which we all know that Refried beans, a lot of Mexican food in general just has a ton of sodium, which you want to stay away from, so keep it at moderate levels. The next will go into some chips. I love snack food. I'm such a huge snack food person, so um, it's been, <laughs> I've struggled. I, sometimes I can't keep chips in the house if it's one of those couple weeks where I'm just going to eat them forever, but I've been really good lately, so I've been keeping more healthy chips in the house. So what I got is Trader Joe's barbecue popped potato chips. These are fried, I mean baked, not fried, uh, barbecue flavor. They're so delicious. They're kind of like cotton candy-esque because they melt in your mouth. Um, they're so good. The barbecue flavor is awesome. Joey thought they were awesome too, which is hard because he is, uh, he's hard to please in the chip category because he's a real chip kind of guy. He loves man, kettle cooked chips. That's what his weakness is kettle cooked barbecue chips. Um, so yeah, they're delicious. Um, they are 19 chips for 120 calories. I already ate one bag of these, so 
This is my second. I'm glad I got two. Uh, the next is roasted plantain chips from Trader Joe's. They just look like dried banana chips, um, but they're plantains, and these are like to die for good. They kind of taste like Pringles to me, um, except they don't have a lot of sodium in them, and it's 20 chips for 140 calories. They're awesome, awesome, awesome. I want them every second of the day. <laughs> uh, so I highly recommend those. And the last category is some breads. As um, I was talking about spreading the sunflower seed butter on tortillas, I eat a lot of tortillas, mostly for lunchtime, because I like sandwiches and tortillas, I mean, and wraps, but I don't like heavy on the bread. I just never have. I like light bread. So, I get tortillas, I got some Trader Joe's handmade 100% whole wheat flour tortillas. And although I love Trader Joe's, as you all know, I was disappointed in these tortillas. They are really chewy and kind of hard to bite into. When I heated them in the microwave for like 10 seconds, they often get really flaky and weird and hard, um, which shouldn't happen after just 10 seconds. So, Joey has tried the uh spinach ones the spinach wraps and he said had the same uh ideas about that that they were a little chewy for him now i've had the spelted grain i was hoping for better because i've had the spelted grain uh bread from trader joe's brand and it is so good i love it so much more than ezekiel because it tastes like bread and it's about two dollars which is half the price of ezekiel so I would recommend that. I don't have any on me right now, but um, not recommend the tortillas. The next is Nature's Own 100% whole wheat sandwich rounds. Um, I wanted to try these. I've seen them kind of all over the blogs. My mom gets these, excuse me, or the Arnold uh, sandwich thins or bagel thins, something like that. Anyway, so like I said, I like a thin amount of bread anyway, so these are a pretty cool idea. They're only 100 calories. I just slam my foot against the, the stool and that really hurt. <laughs> Anyways, they're only 100 calories for a sandwich round and they're pretty good, nothing to write home about. I would recommend them if you also like thin amounts of bread like me and they're just easy to go and they fit uh, veggie burgers very nicely. So that's what I did like about it. And I think that's about it for me for the product reviews. I hope you guys like this. Um, it's a little chatty, but uh, I'll try to get better at these as I go. So I hope that everyone has a good day. I'm heading to class here in a little bit and then getting my workout on at the gym today. It's a gym day, so I'm trying to step up my weight training. Um, so we'll see how that goes today, and we'll see if I can walk tomorrow. <laughs> All right, well, I hope everyone has a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.